Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick comparison here between the HTC U11 and the HTC 10. Uh, HTC gone with a whole new design for their new phone here. Uh, very, you know, controversial, uh, but you know, a lot of people do like the new design. Uh, personally, I do enjoy the HTC 10 design a bit more here in terms of the massive chamfering and the gunmetal kind of approach. Uh, but then again, I, you know, I wanted to see how the performance did compare. What was the U11? A uh, better phone here day to day. We're going to have a look. So just start them up at the same time. So with the U11, you're getting a slightly bigger screen, although it's not that noticeable, really. Uh, they feel about the same in terms of the weight in the hand. I think the U11 is a bit lighter overall. Uh, we can definitely hear from the start of that the speakers on the HTC 10 sound much richer and bassier because they're on like the side here as well as at the top. So that's the first thing I do notice straight away. The other thing I do notice is the screen brightness. Uh, it seems about the same, you know, I think the HTC 10 brightness could have been better. We just bumped them up to the max here and I think auto brightness is off. Uh, you can see it isn't so the brightest display on the market. It would have been nice if they did uh, bump it up here in terms of the brightness. You can just see that they are on the same. Uh, nevertheless, we can have a look here how they do compare in terms of the performance. So we've just got a few apps here to open up. So you can see straight away the, the U11 is showing a little bit of a snappier approach to things and that uh, is good we do like to see a bit of progress but the HTC 10 you can see is no slouch very uh, quick to go into things that wasn't very fair but hopefully the other ones won't be like that so they are all like that now let's just do those two again for fairness So, you know, it's uh, very telling here how close the HTC 10 is uh, to the new uh, U11 in terms of the performance. I really think they nailed it in terms of the optimization. So you can see, absolutely identical for the day-to-day -day apps. Uh, we can just have a look at the speed as well of the Wi-Fi, see if there's any differences here. And just go with this one. So I think you can get HTC 10s now for about 400 euro. It has come down in price quite a bit, or even less, if you shop around. So you know, it makes very good value for money. Uh, you're also getting a headphone jack on the HTC 10, and I think a 24-bit DAC for your audio, uh, you know, audio high-quality, high-res audio stuff. And took away the headphone jack on the. Uh, the U11, which is a bit annoying, particularly as OnePlus has kept it. Uh, we can see a solid improvement when it comes to the Wi-Fi here. You know, a little bit better, but still, you know, the HTC 10 is still very good overall uh, when it comes to the Wi-Fi. Let's just try a browser session. So we can just go to uh, Fauna Arena. Cool. So slightly fast rendering on the left there, but you know, again, you'd have to really slow it down to see it here. Picture the thing could definitely load it a bit faster overall. Still no pictures on the right. LDG six, only four in ten dollars now. Very nice deal. You see, this is why I say to you, uh, unless you review phones, you may as well wait like uh, like three months and it'll be half the price, the uh, Android. Let's go. Yeah, so you can definitely see there's uh, an improvement here on the uh, U11 in terms of the raw performance, which is good at the end of the day. 
Uh, they both have very good uh, feedback in terms of the screen here because I think HEC really bragged about the touch sensitivity on the HEC 10 how it's among the best uh, so it feels just as good on the uh, U11 phone just quickly have a look at the multitasking here so a bit of a reload on the HEC 10 one thing which is a bit annoying about the HTC 10 is that they haven't updated it to the latest Android, still on 7.0, so they've been very lazy there. Sony has updated its phones to the latest Android, so should be no excuse really. Uh, so I don't know what I clicked on there, but no reload. <laughs> uh, so let's just try this one. Yeah, you can see very nice uh, performance, quite equivalent. Uh, you can get a 60 gram model of the HCU11, but it's not available here, unfortunately. Uh, so not really much difference in terms of multitasking there, you can see. Uh, in terms of the software, you can see it's uh, quite similar here. Uh, you do get some nice new features on the U11, uh, such as like the force touch feature that you get on iPhones, etc. So you can quickly uh, get access to different stuff by holding down the icon. Uh, which I don't think you can do on the HEC 10. Uh, you also obviously got the squeeze feature. You know, you shouldn't forget about it, it is there. So if you want to take a shot, you can do quite quickly. Uh, you know, I think uh, on the HEC 10 there's a way to get to the camera quite quick as well. Is it double tap the power button? Something like that. I can't remember exactly how it was, but I think you can set up some sort of shortcut. Well, overall, I'm going to be honest with you, I think I prefer the HEC 10 build here. To me, it just feels like it's built like a tank. And I just don't understand why HEC would have gone with like a Samsung look for its own signature phone here. Uh, yes, it looks very you know nice and premium, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, it's going against your legacy kind of thing. Uh, the performance is very good, although the battery could have been better based on my first test with it. Uh, but I do prefer the HTC 10 build quality, so hopefully they will go back to it in the future. Uh, but nevertheless, apparently the U11 is selling well, so, you know, props to HTC nevertheless. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful.